Prescott has said this week he wasn't scared of a new challenge with Leicester City when he arrived in the summer, and it's shown they sit second, and with that, they're off the back of back to back impressive victories, too. Bristol City fans, well, they've seen their side start excellently as well, no more so than that fantastic victory over Plymouth midweek. It's, of course, an emotional return to Leicester for Nigel Pearson, a huge connection with the club. Two stints here, almost 300 games in charge. This man returns to the starting 11 as well for Leicester City today. Matthew James, another former Leicester City player. Fass. Big swing of the ball out to this left hand side. Leicester have looked lively already here. Chester Hill wants it and gets it. Tries the first time ball in. Passes away out for a corner kick. today for Bristol City, placing uh, Zach Viner. Oh, yeah, need a bit of movement, going to come as the ball comes in. Swing of the boot, Fast will try and get it under control. Edge of the penalty area, it's not a bad strike. Not a million miles away from Ishaku Fatawu. Just a little awkward, had to leap up, had to try and guide it with the left boot. A little awkward initially for uh, Harry Winks, but he's styled it out somewhat. Here's the right hand side again to the lively Fatawu. To the left boot, tries the shot right down the throat of O'Leary. Does very well indeed to pour it away. Back with the wings towards the corner flag. By Sykes. Incidentally, coming together as well there. Very dangerous so far. A rasping effort. So City just needs to get a bit more possession of the ball. Should be a free kick in his. James Bell not set particularly slow to make the decision. Easy one for him against Callum Doyle. just finds his man on the right hand side that's a brilliant ball around the back for Williams there's a couple of bodies in the center Naki Wells is one of them there's a body there firstly comes towards Bell Pring wants it as well chase down here Cameron Pring into the area cleared away best chance of the game so far for that man's side have not been in it much but that is much much better Wells just couldn't get it past the bodies did the right thing to lay it off to Bell but very, very difficult for everyone from there. In the end, Bristol City can't quite get past Leicester. Just in the substitute rolling it in towards Vestergaard, who is the one to Harry Winks. Leicester has seen so much of the ball in this game. City here, Michael Will contesting his innocence. Taken quickly, back and fast. It's a good ball out to this right hand side. There are a few bodies in the centre. Vardy throws his head at it. Abadidi also trying to the six yard box as well. Dewsbury Hall trying his best. Good defending action in the end from Bristol City to get a body in the way. fans here will be feeling not set if but when well, we've seen dominated uh, sides already a couple of times this season not go on to uh, lose the game towards Dewsbury Hall brilliant stop from O'Leary two bodies in the way for Bristol City and somehow scoop clear down this left hand side back with Justin brilliant pull back of the ball Mavadidi loses it Bristol City you've got to be careful side footed clear Leicester City have looked so dangerous. Very good stop that. Very good defending from Dickey. Just the patient play for Leicester City. Lays it off. Justin has to throw 
himself in quickly. Leicester City's way, mind you. Back up into the September sunshine. A little scrappy. Dewsbury Hall. Smart ball off this right hand side. Plenty of blue bodies in the centre. Little clip ball, not a bad one. Babadini again and again. O'Leary in the way. He's had so many chances in pretty much that exact position in this game. O'Leary yet again in the way. Good stop from the keeper. Lovely step over. Now Wells thinks about the shot, moves out to the right-hand side instead for Yeboah, tries to drill it across. Smart run here on the right-hand side as well, but right down the throat to Mark Hermanson. Better from Bristol City, no question. Wells opting against the shot. Brilliant run this down the right-hand side as well. Straight to the keeper. This is just the best of guard. Smart pass, and now it's a big opportunity for Leicester City into a dangerous area. Is that going to be a penalty? May Smith, the guilty party, and Didi brought down. An incredibly difficult decision to argue with. Just pulled his defender all over. Unquestionably a penalty. And for all their dominance in the game, Leicester City may get the best chance so far from the spot. Jamie Vardy against Max O'Leary. It's Vardy! An absolutely perfect penalty. And the experienced mercurial frontman puts Leicester City deservedly into the lead. You will not see, possibly all season, a better penalty than that. Top corner, thank you very much, 1-0. a belting spot kick. Bristol City have certainly kind of endeavour into this, but just not been able to break through. Gardner Hickman does the right thing in just rolling it off towards Knight. Gardner Hickman gets it back and it's a nice little drop of the shoulder away from Winks. Three, four. Red and white stripes in the centre. That's a good ball. Initially, it looked like a good ball at the back post. Vyman almost took advantage of it. Frustrating day for that man so far. Hermanson should have done better. Launch of the ball from O'Leary. Possibly, probably the last chance for Bristol City here. From range, a free kick goes in. It is not a dangerous one, and the Leicester City goalkeeper will stay on top of the ball. Justin, seconds surely left, that is it. It is a penalty kick that is the killer moment for a game where Leicester City had 19 shots. A delighted Enzo Maresca. His side dominated through the game. An unhappy return to Leicester for Nigel Pearson. The side were not at their best. It was his brilliant penalty that gives Leicester City all three points. As pleasantries are exchanged, there can be no argument over the result. Leicester City won. Bristol City nil.